I'm going to show you real quick how to do the binding that I've used on all the little journals that I've included in my um, altered phone book project. Um, it's just a real simple, I think it's called a pamphlet stitch. You know, you poke three holes, you, you make a couple of stitches, you're done. It just, it couldn't be easier. Um, I take, I start by measuring. I don't really measure, I'm not looking at inches. I'm just kind of looking at the ruler to see where the center is just about. I make a mark there and then about an inch in from either end. And that's my three holes. And um, I'm punching through the signature, through the cover, and then I will punch it through the uh, phone book after that when I bind it into the book. If I bind it into the book, this one I don't. Um, I have a little book cradle that I use for poking holes, but you don't have that. If you know, you can use binder clips to hold your sheets together and poke it. You can put the crease in the middle of an open phone book, you know, whatever works for you. But um, you poke the holes using your handy dandy pokey tool or a uh, thumbtack or a needle, a thick needle, you know, something sharp. I'm using some wax linen and I cut a piece that's about twice as long as my signature. And then just a, a kind of a big eye needle or a tapestry needle. You can either start by coming up through the spine or going down through the center. It doesn't matter. Um, just know that wherever the tail is, that's where your knot's going to be. I'm coming up through the spine because I want my knot on the spine on the outside. If I went down through the center, then my knot would be on the inside of the book. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Come up through the middle, go down through one of the holes on the end, go around up through the other hole on the end, if you can see it. There we go. Then you go back down through the center. Now how easy was that? See, anybody can bind a book doing that. Make sure that your two tails are straddling that center piece. You want, you know, one tail on one side, one on the other. Pull it tight. If you use wax linen, you know, it's got some, some give to it. You want to pull it tight and then just tie a good square knot. And I usually give it maybe one or two other um, knots on top of it just to make sure. And now you have a book. All done. See, book binding's easy. This particular one is going into a pocket in, in my altered phone book. Others I have bound into the spine of the book. Um, but it's just an easy, versatile stitch that anyone can do.